What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today is to Thursday, the 18th. Um, had practice this morning, uh, just threw. Didn't film it, because you guys just saw me throw in the last vlog. Um, worked on a little bit of shot. Um, felt pretty good. Trying to use my legs a little bit more um, during the throw and not do it all arm, so. Went pretty well. Uh, Carol had practice this morning. did a couple run throughs, triple jump, um, and then she lifted, and now we're back at home. Uh, it is like 3.30, I'm gonna go to Maria's, gonna take you guys along with me. Um, we're in our like power phase-ish. High weight, low reps, got some cleans, some deadlifts, some chops, some pulls, you guys will see it all. So just gonna get ready here, uh, have some pre-workout, have a little snack, and then we're off to RevCon. So I'm just gonna get dressed, get ready to go, and then uh, head out. Oh, I got my flight today to uh, Australia for Commonwealth, March 18th. Peace out, Canada. Well, I'll see you guys over there, but peace out home. Peace out cold. What do you got, homie? Uh, clean. Just start with. <laughs>
far too to any part of it, you might run out of room in your hips. There. Caro is currently obsessed with Tetris. No, I'm not. I could stop at any time. Why don't you stop? I don't want to. She plays and plays and plays and doesn't care about me. Anyways, we're back now. And by we, I mean me. Um, the lift was good. Uh, this is the last lift of this program. Now I'm going to make dinner because Caro can't put down her phone. No comment. Uh, going to make some fajitas and then eat them, obviously. So we ate and now welcome to the Q&A. We have two to three questions for each other that we thought of very extensively. You're sitting on a lazy Susan. Question number one. For a rookie jumper or somebody just getting into the sport, what's one piece of advice that you could give to focus on? piece of advice I would give somebody just getting started as a jumper is not to underestimate all the aspects of jumping that aren't jumping. So sprinting and strength training, very important. At the end of the day, you can only jump as far as fast as you can run. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, if you're wicked fast on the runway and wicked strong, then, you know, your possibilities are endless and technique can come with time. If you could go back to your 16-year-old self as a track and field athlete, what would you have done differently other than start the decathlon mm -hmm. sooner? <laughs> Um, I would have taken a lot more time to taking care of my body. I think mobility was like not a th thing for me when I was in high school and just like recovering and stuff. So a lot of my little injuries here and there that I get nowadays, I think is a result of me not taking care of my body in the past and just like just doing a lot of work at practice and then not taking time to recover. So that's probably the one thing I would tell my stupid self to do. Question number two, if you had to do one throwing event, which one do you think you would be the best at? Obviously shot put because I'm strong as f Just kidding. Not kidding about how strong I am, but <laughs> Um, I don't think I could time discus out correctly. I feel like I would hit the cage all the time. I could roll with some javelin, yep. Last question for you, sir. Would you rather do an entire decathlon barefoot or at the end of day one, replace the 400 with the 1500? And then of course you would also have to do another 1500 at the end of day two. Bruh. Just thinking about doing like discus barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> High jump barefoot. Pole vault. Pole vault. Anything barefoot. Yeah, probably two 15s because after a 400 you get a lot of lactic and after a 15 you have a, like a lot of lactic but like not as much so 
good little shakeout, I guess, after day one. So Kara left me. She has to make a phone call. Um, but how would you guys answer those questions? Comment below. Let us know if you'd rather do 215s or barefoot decathlon or some advice that you could give your 16-year-old self. Um, so that's the end of today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Like it. Subscribe. We've got a lot of subscribers in the past, like, three or four days. We've gone up a considerable amount. We wanted to hit 200 by January, and now we're sitting at, uh, like, 248, 250. So thanks for subscribing. It's just showing us that you guys are liking what we're doing. And if you're watching the videos and you're not subscribed, just press the subscribe button if you keep on watching them. Helps us out. Let's you guys know when new vlogs come out. All right, thanks, bye. Okay, bye.